Who's gonna win it? Just straight up. Who's gonna win the NBA championship this year? Non bias? The Nets. Non bias? The Nets. The Nets. The Nets. They've been playing amazing, man. Uh, but like Amazing. Right. Without KD. Without, without KD. KD. And and without Harden too, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Like soft hammer. Or without or Kyrie like. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean Will they have the same issue though in terms of going to the finals and not having played that many games together? That's what the thing. Or going to the playoffs and oh, not having played that many excuse uh, they're gonna uh, use. A rookie head coach. That's what they'll say. Rookie head coach. Does they know playoff situations? A non winning head coach that has an assistant coach? That's right. I don't know. I, I think I think the Nets are the favorite. I think uh, they just have too much talent to they not should win be, it. They're definitely the favorites. Yeah. I, I was just saying on the on my last podcast that even with the rookie head coach, even if their chemistry is not at 100 percent, just because of the abundance of talent that they have, they should be the perennial favorites. Yeah. With just, what you're kind of talking about, you're kind of like doing a comparison between last year's Clippers and the Nets. That's exactly. And right. I think the difference is you have a champion in KD. A champion in Kyrie. You have a champion in Kyrie, and then you have a hungry MVP. Hall of Famer MVP in James Harden, and I think that's where the difference is. And a hungry coach. And you have veterans. Yeah, he's never Solid won it. Vets, you dude. have vets who haven't won, who yeah. are hungry to win. Aldridge, and then you Blake. have you have vets who have played with the likes of LeBron. That kind of know what you need, like as an an, an attitude, like a mental and, state. And then and then on top of that. The Bucks aren't looking like world beaters. No. no one in the East. The Sixers lost and beat for a while. He just came back last year. We'll see how that plays out. The Lakers have both of their stars out. Honestly, the Clippers probably are the biggest threat to them right now. If we're looking uh, just at yeah. teams. Yeah, and even though they blew us out today, they still didn't look that like the Clippers like amazing. The Clippers have, have won seven out of their last eight games. Yeah, they, we quietly. were we are quietly. quietly. And I kind of like the way I've I've really enjoyed flying under the radar. Everyone's talking about the. It's it's interesting the way it the benefits Utah you. Jazz. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really interesting in terms of how the well, I I'm not even gonna argue against it because I understand the media is obviously gonna. We're like the meme team, right? Like anything we, yeah. like any bad play that we do, yeah, that's the yeah, highlight yeah. that goes. But yeah. none of the other great plays will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which sucks. Um, which it is sucks. Funny. But like honestly, like it's it's not like it's undeserved. Like we they we did a lot of talking as fans and as players last season to lose the way that we did. It's embarrassing, right? So I think this season you kind of have to you have to roll with the punches. You have to like as you gotta a Clipper, take it in the chin. You got to take it on the chin because I see a lot of fans complaining like, oh, like. They don't show any of our great plays, and like, bro, like we don't, uh, like, respect, yeah, like, we don't, like, th- th- we don't deserve, deserve any of that. Anything we don't deserve any of that. We, we have to really go out there and get it ourselves. Yeah, we and guys, I, we're I, doing the celebration like around the the yeah, Olympic, the Olympic run yeah, before so, you guys yeah. won anything. So I think I think this <laughs> yeah. year, you know, they were <laughs> they really got they really got to prove it this year, and I think we look at this stage, we look better chemistry wise than we did season. last year that, and I just like the trajectory that we're going so with quiet. and it's, it's quiet and it's quiet that's it, the thing I think which is it's good it benefits like the likes of PG yeah, you know not Ka- being so loud Kawhi likes it quiet yeah yeah, yeah. Toronto like, that was the whole thing like like, he, like there's you no know, media thing. It, it, it benefits the Clippers. It's been working. It's that's why I'm so interested really like under the radar that's, yeah. that's why I'm so interested how the standings are gonna end up being it does it honestly like, it, because because let's say let's say the Clippers do end up third, right? Yeah, we could. We talked about this off camera, like off. Yeah, the Lakers could easily end up six, and we get a first round series. Yeah, yeah, we get a first round series. I don't fear the Lakers. No one should fear the no. Lakers, honestly. Well, and this right is now. as a Lakers, no, even right like now. healthy Lakers. I don't exactly fear the Lakers. No, because our you, shooting is bad. And that was the same thing that was said about us last year. No, I, I know, but like I think it's, it's worse. I, I feel like you're you're def, uh, definitely in a different position, and you've added newer players down the stretch in comparison to where you were last year. Like players that you're relying on more now than you would have probably relied on them last year. Like who? Andre Drummond is being. Like bigged up to be that's like the a media. world beater. No, that's I, it's the media. Not just the media. It's a lot of Laker fans. Uh, yeah, not me. Yeah, I would. I'm not saying either you two, but I, there's like a large chunk of your fan base I'll, that is believing Andre Drummond, who is going to be your second string center, potentially starter if you play AD at the um, four. Right? They're yeah. going to start him. Yeah, they're going to start him. I think. Uh, I think it'll be interesting. I just. I'm not exactly fearful of the Lakers to the same way that I was last year. Like last year I've been like, all right, like this is going to be, a, it'll still be a dog fight, but it's something that I definitely see. I feel more comfortable this year saying like, uh, I think we can do I'm it. I'm not too worried to be honest. I, it's the regular season. I mean, I still see us in the finals, right? I just hope you guys don't get hurt. Like I hope that, like I hope no, these injuries no, aren't no. like recur, like things that 
you can pick up easily. That's the thing about AD, man. Because AD, I was going to say AD. So is what, it's what we've talked about before. Prone. And if you don't have AD, you're not going. We're not winning anything. No, no, no. Like, the Lakers are more reliant on their two stars than, like, anybody else. Obviously, well, everybody, I mean, relies, yeah. everybody relies on their two stars. Right, but, but they're two of the best top five players yeah, in the league. Yeah, they're you know, like, all pros. Yeah, like, you know, easily just between Braun and AD points-wise, that's like 60 points a game. Damn near. Whatever yeah. Braun assists... And that's, that's another like 20, 20. That's another 30, between 20, maybe, 30 yeah, points. Like, so that's already 90 points of the game. Out from two players. You know? It'll be interesting. It'll so, be interesting. So it's like when you talk stats, like today the Clippers, they have I don't this... think it's a foregone conclusion that the Nets win it, though. I think they're the overwhelming favorites. No, I think uh, everyone's I think, beatable. I think, yeah, I think either the Clippers or the Lakers have, have a chance to beat them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see the Jazz. I really think that this Jazz team reminds me a lot of that Atlanta Hawks team that yeah, was the first yeah, that got yeah, beat. Yeah. You know, that's, yes. that's, they're like the the, the Hawks and of the except, West. Except, except I rate Mitchell higher than any of the, those Hawks players. Oh yeah, no doubt. Oh, Donovan Mitchell's a baller. He's a definitely. baller. He's better than T. He's a he's true better star. Than Horford. He's better than. Was Smith? Uh, it was Josh Smith, right? Not the time. No, 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 no. Not, no, not, no, not no. then. Uh, no, they no. had Cal Corver. The guy from the Nuggets. The their power. Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap. Millsap. Horford. Corver. Teague, Schroeder. Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson. Yeah. Damn. So all of those, Joe Johnson on the back end. Corver, he was all the already, already. Already in the back end, Teague, too. Teague, he was what he was. They got like, swept by the Cavs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But none of them were, like, elite. Yeah. Mitchell has no, elite Mitchell, moments. Mitchell, uh, he's, he's he will be elite. He's, he's uh, there. We'll see what he, he, no, he's, he's, there. A he's, he's a baller. He's a baller. He's a baller. He's a baller. He's just there. tough because, like, at his size, it's hard to impact the game a lot. I just think when scoring. you slow the game down, are the Jazz gonna be there for yeah, the full? Yeah, their second, quarters? their second best player becomes a liability too. So like Rudy Gobert. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so I like Rudy Gobert, bro. I know he gets slandered a lot, but I like him. I know he's not gonna offer a lot. I, in the postseason, he's like but a dinosaur. Like, he's yeah. a really good dinosaur. No, yeah, no, no doubt. But uh, he's getting like the league is changing away from him. Yeah. No, he's no, a, he's an elite dinosaur. Yeah. Sure. No. no, no <laughs> yeah. Doubt. Like in but, the early two yeah, thousands. I, I just don't have be... faith. I don't have faith that they'll do anything. I also have the same faith towards the Nuggets, even and though the they haven't proved to. That's the one team that I feel like can knock. They won't go the full way, but they can knock somebody the off. The Mavs can knock somebody out. No, I don't. Yeah, they I can. thought maybe last season, like nah, last season, nah, nah, not man. this Mavs season. Not Dude, this Mavs, not this Mavs, team. Mavs team. They were like second to last in the West. They've crept up all the way to seventh. They're gonna make the playoffs. No, like yeah, no, yeah, for is, sure. But they no. could get hot. They could get no. hot. Kristaps hey. could get hot. Right now, he's not. And then he can also you, get injured. You're talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, just about to say yeah, that. Yeah, you like, you're talking about Kristaps <laughs> playing the whole series. Yeah, like, no, I, yeah, that's, yeah. that's like impossible at this point. Playoff series last year. Yeah, come on, man. I feel, I feel like healthy Kristaps. The Mavs have a better chance than the Suns. Okay. There's not been a single season where Chris Porzingis has played more than 60 games. Chris like, Paul he, he, he. took a weaker Thunder team to the next round. Almost, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why would he not? No, no, no. He lost game seven to the... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but he almost took him yeah, to the next He almost round. took him to the next round. We're talking about almost. Nah, I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. So, are, so add Devin Booker. How, how are you DeAndre not going to... DeAndre Ayton to... Come DeAndre on. Aiden's they're got, going... They're, they're on to the next round. Hey, but matchups make everything. They were they were a good matchup for for the so the door, they door. were a good the Suns were a good matchup for everybody in the bubble because they beat everybody. It was granted it wasn't the playoffs, but they yeah, didn't lose a, they didn't lose a game in yeah. the bubble. And then you add a player like Chris. They Bowman. played the Kings and they played some with some of the weak teams. Too. Didn't they play the Lakers too? They played the, the Lakers. Clippers. They, they played the Clippers. Beat us. They beat us on the, yeah, on the last second. The shot. Lakers. The Lakers were like they negative beat. in the bubble, and then we won the whole thing. So come on. I mean, they still did it. You though. still got to do yeah, it. Yeah, they still they still did it. I yeah. I think especially because you had that experience with Chris Paul. Yeah, and he's one of my favorite yeah, but players. But Chris Paul play. also breaks down in the playoffs. Yeah, no, he's yeah, known to get hurt. Injury, injury wise, yeah, yeah, no, so that's, that's true. true. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. The next man up. Taking, I'm just saying one series, though. I'm not saying I'm not telling you they're gonna no, make it to the conference finals. I'm just saying one series. They might knock somebody off. 